what I wanted to ask the people, my senior developers watching, and hopefully this is useful for the junior developers or intermediate developers, is this. When do you prefer writing it yourself instead of using a library? Um, I want to get our awesome viewers, because we have so many great developers here who come out and hang out, and most of the time it's just me rambling. So um, I wanted to start a debate, and I'm trying to remember what I was, I was going to ask you guys about. Um, let me think about this for a minute. Let's start with uh, something that is interesting to me. Here, here's what I want to ask you. What is your opinion on third-party library minimalism? Minim, minimalism, I can't... I, I swear, uh, friends, that uh, English is first language. I, I am uh, very good speak English. So what is your opinion on uh, third-party library minimalism? So what does this actually mean? Building apps using only or mostly standard library. Um, so this could be KSTD lib and uh, JSTD lib, whatever. And well, let's let's be kind. Let's be kind. Let's throw in Android SDK. Two. What I wanted to ask the people, my senior developers watching, and hopefully this is useful for the junior developers or intermediate developers, is this. When do you prefer writing it yourself instead of using a library? When would you write a um, HTTP URL connection instead of using Retrofit? Um, when would you use the navigation library in J uh, Jetpack um, or SimpleStack, <laughs> which is Gabor's library, um, versus just using Intense? And the reason why I'm asking this is I'm trying to get people to elucidate um, where their sort of balance point is. Because on one end, when we... When we use a ton of libraries it hides problems and behaves like magic when we don't use many libraries we have to solve uh, these these problems using uh, lower level and more difficult um, tools I'd like to hear some opinions on, on what is preferable here, because I remember in about 2018, I did a roadmap for Android developers um, video. And this, um, this video, in it, I basically said to people, um, learn retrofit, learn room, uh, learn Rx Java. I was all about the libraries and the frameworks. In fact, that's all I knew. And someone came onto that video and commented um, something to the effect of, it's useful to know how to write that stuff yourself. It's useful to know what's going on under the hood. And I thought that was a ridiculous statement at the time because I was still young and naive. And um, I realize in retrospect that you can either be that person who writes everything themselves, or you can be that person who uses libraries all the time, or you can be something in between. And I realized that I was way too much, I was using libraries too much. But the thing about this is that whether you should use libraries or write your own thing, it depends on your personal requirements. It depends on what your job requires you. It depends on your personal goals. So that's why I wanted to, to bring this discussion point in and, and try and get some uh, some feedback. So first we have from uh, the Apache. When I already know how to build it from scratch, or when I know how it works under the hood, and when it it's pretty good and contains no major bu bugs, I think that's a very reasonable statement. 
um, if I know how it works, if there's no magic in the library, but it saves you writing a bunch of boilerplate code and it, it's not very buggy because that's one of the problems with libraries. One of the problems with libraries is that you lose control over it. It's not your code. It's the library developer's code and you're at their whim for whether it works or the API changes. So very good point there of the Apache. Uh, my bro Chayton says, depends if whole industry take it as a standard like retrofit, then I would take it as a third party. I would choose the third party. Otherwise I will take a look at the source code and include only the part I modify as needed. But it also depends and this is a really important, it depends uh, about the time we need to get it delivered or deadline. This is a really key point. The more, f um, by saying that I'm going to take the time to learn it under the hood, I'm assuming I must be in a position where I don't have super strict deadlines. Let's say I wind up in a situation where I'm in a company, they want me to solve a problem really quickly and I don't have time to solve that whole problem myself. Just use retrofit. And I totally agree with that point. Great point by Chaitin as well. So this is really um, what I'm trying to get at here. And I'm, for the beginners watching this, I'm trying to give different um, opinions and perspectives and what are the actual project requirements that would lead you to prefer a certain option. because it's not an easy answer and we're, I thank you guys so much. This is wonderful to have this debate going on. Uh, let's go to Gabor. Um, libraries in theory are there specifically to hide the magic in a predictable and reliable way so that it solves your problem without too many costs being forced upon you. Completely agree. That is, it's, let's use, instead of using, um, instead of writing your own solution, you want something that you can just plug in and it works. So Gabor continues to say, uh, however, before, before I pull in a library, I check the source code first to see if it does exactly what I want and if it seems reliable in the first place. And that's an important one. And this is tricky because beginners, um, at least I can speak from personal experience here. Um, it was really, uh, I felt intimidated by libraries. So by using libraries all the time, I was scared of like looking underneath. And I realized that it's such a valuable skill to be able to do these things yourself. And this was earlier, people asked about Dagger 2 and uh, Hilt. And what I advised the person asking is, the first thing you should do is understand what these libraries are doing for you. Understand that Dagger 2 is generating this for you. And in a small application, this is very not complicated. So no matter how complicated Dagger 2 itself is, under the hood, it's actually doing something really simple in a sense. It's just that you can configure it for a giant application, which makes it more complicated. So um, anything else? We got uh, tracks here. Also depends on what exactly the library contains. If you need only a small part of a library, it's easier to copy paste the part from the source code and not import the entire lib. That's a useful point that I didn't think about. So if it's an open source project, you're allowed to do that. And um, that's something I never really, um, I've never done that myself. Like I've looked at how libraries do things and written my own code, but I realized that that might actually be a really good middle of the road solution. If I understand the code and it's open source and it solves the problem, but I don't need um, everything else that comes along with it, then that's a, that's a good point. Um, also, Gabor mentioned when I had to work on an SDK library, I used HTTP URL connection, so I would not have any dependency on any third party frame, framework. There we go, project requirement, not depending on any third party framework to solve a particular problem. 